Okay, in continuing with the figure now in part two, as I've told you in that last uh, part one that we were starting to round off this head as we've done right here. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit off this front just right up here just a little bit. Now, we're going to go to the back of the head and we're not going to cut up from the back, but we're going to, we're going to put a, we're going to kind of cut in from the head itself. You see what I'm doing? Instead of uh, removing wood from the back of it, we're going to remove the wood from the head itself because the back of the head doesn't extend like the front of the head will or the, the face will. So we're going to start removing the wood here. Let's see. From the back of the head. See? See what I'm doing? Just like that. Okay. Now, as you can see, we're already starting to establish that there is going to be a head there. Okay. I'm going to just remove a little bit of wood right here, right here, because I, as I told you, I work around the figure. Now, when it comes to the head, what we're going to establish, and I'm going to, let me take a little bit more off here because this face is going to protrude. We're going to establish, first of all, the nose. And what I do to create or establish the nose is I come from each side and I remove wood from the figure on each side just like this just like we did with the other one okay see and so it's just sort of a push it's that pushing motion as I, as I push this this knife and I just sort of come off each side of the face right here removing wood and you see what it does it actually establishes a little nose there. See that? Now look. See what I'm saying? Now watch. As I did with the other one, I take my knife, excuse me, I like to take my pencil, and I draw my little nose there. Hey, you see what I'm, I've done? So all I did was just come from each side, working, just thinning that out, to sort of at a point. And there is the bottom of my nose. So I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to cut that out of there. See? See what I've done? What I've done is I've established my nose here. See? On the face. I've established the nose itself. Now, the head, we're going to kind of Round it off a little bit more, but as you see, we've already begun to establish the face itself. Now, on this nose, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up on both sides of it, and I'm going to remove wood from it, just like this. See? I'm going to come on both sides of the nose, and I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to remove this wood, so this nose will stand out. Okay, see what I'm doing? Because we want the nose to stand out. See? Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to sort of make a triangle with this nose. See how that nose is starting to stand out now? It's starting to take shape. Now I know it's kind of all centered right here, but we're going to come up. I'm going to come back some more. We're going to start shaping that nose is what we're doing. We sort of shape it at a, at, a, at a triangle, just like this. See what we're doing? Take a little wood off here. Sort of shaping it at the top like a triangle. See what we're doing? Now it's starting to take shape. But it's going to have to be thinner. The nose is going to have to be thinned off. So I'm going to remove wood from here, from both sides. You sort of... Work the nose up like a triangle. You see what, see what we're doing? Just sort of like that, like a little triangle. 
And there you go. You're working your nose up right there. Now, we're going to remove a little wood up in here. But you see what we're doing? But still, the nose itself is really too large for this figure. So I'm going to take a little bit more off. Working it like a little triangle up here. Now you see? See that? You're just, just basically shaping that nose the way you want it to be. All right? Now, I'm going to come back here on the back of the, the figure. I'm going to remove a little wood. Okay. Now, we're already starting to see shape in the face itself. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to remove a little of this wood. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start separating this head entirely from this body. And as you see on the sides over here, we've still got quite a bit of attached. So, I'm going to come up underneath here and we'll start removing this wood away from the head itself so that we can make the head entirely separate from the body. You see what we're doing? Now see? Now we'll, we'll thin the head later as we go along. Let's see what we've done. And you see the head has now become completely separate from the body. Now, I'm going to round the head off just a little bit more. 